Hello and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to be making one or all of these little frogs. How I'm going to be doing this one is we'll start with the body of the frog and then once we're done that I will have a screenshot at the end with time stamps so you can go and do each of the different um, little emblems so the clover the heart and the flower and you can just skip around and do whichever one you want to do for this video i will be using a number four yarn a 3.75 millimeter hook and 10 millimeter safety eyes and then if you want to add a little keychain you can just um, put that up in the top center of his little head. This is a crochet along, so I will be doing every stitch with you. And I am also providing a drop down at the top of the screen with the pattern instructions for the first 30 seconds of every row for you to follow along with. And if you enjoy this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and hit that bell. Not only will that help me out, but you will also be notified every time I load a new video. All right, we are going to start by making a chain. So you're going to fold your yarn in half, wrap it around your finger, pull it th around and through to make a knot, and then leave that loop on the end. You're going to insert your hook, and we are going to chain 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now starting in the second chain from the hook, so not this loop on your hook. This is your first chain. This is your second chain. So in this second chain, we are going to do um, nine single crochets on this side, pivot our work, and then do nine on the back side for a total of 18 single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, and nine in that end stitch. Now we're going to turn or pivot. So we were working this way. Now we're going to pivot to the other side. We're going to go in that same stitch we were just in. And we're going to do nine single crochets on the other side. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, and then our ninth one in the other end, right where we started. You should have something that looks like this. Grab a stitch marker if you're using one. And for row two, we're going to do one um, single crochet, a double crochet cluster of four, five single crochets another double crochet cluster of four, 
um, and then 10 single crochets to get back around to the other side. So in this next stitch right here, one single crochet, and then in this next stitch, we're going to do a double crochet cluster of four. So we are just in this one. We're going into this one. So yarn over into that next stitch. Grab your yarn and pull through. Grab your yarn and pull through the first two loops on your hook. That's one. Yarn over. Back in that same stitch. Grab your yarn and pull up. Grab your yarn and pull through the first two loops. That's two. Yarn over in that same stitch. Grab your yarn. Pull up. Grab your yarn again and go through those first two stitches. That's three. And one more time. Yarn over in that same stitch. Grab your yarn. Pull up. Grab your yarn. Go through those first two stitches. Now you have four. Now you're going to grab your yarn and go through all the loops. And there's your little cluster stitch. Now we are going to do five single crochets across. Make sure you're going in the right stitches. One, two, three, four, five. Now we're going to do our double crochet cluster of four again, and I'm going to go a little faster this time. So that's once, twice, three times, and four times. All in that same stitch. And then when you get all four, you just grab your yarn and go through all the loops on your hook. And now we are going to do ten single crochets around. Again, make sure you're in the next stitch. Pop that bubble out if you need to. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. And you just did the hardest part. So if you can get to here, um, the rest is going to be just a breeze for you. Rows three to five are just going to be 18 single crochets all the way around. And I'm going to do those consecutively. So that's three rows of 18. 18 times 3 is 54, I believe. I'm just going to flip my marker when I hit a set of 18. 1, 2, 3, sorry, I'm not used to using the smaller hook, 4, 5, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So I'm going to flip my marker, but keep on counting. 19, 20, 21. 
26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, flipping my marker, but I'm going to keep on counting, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54. Row six, we're going to add the arms and we're going to do um, one single crochet, add an arm, nine single crochets across the front, add an arm, and then we should have eight single crochets um, to go around the back. And I will put that up across the top as we're going along for you to follow. So row six, one single crochet, and then we're going to do the arm. We're going to chain 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And now starting in the second chain from the hook right here, we're going to do a slip stitch. And then in the next chain, we're going to do a slip stitch again. And now we're going to chain two. One, two. And again, in that second chain from the hook, we're going to slip stitch. And then we're going to slip stitch in the next stitch where we're starting to make a hole. Now we're going to chain two again. One, two. And then we're going to do a slip stitch in the second chain. And this time when we do our second slip stitch, you're just going to grab a little piece of the bottom of the first finger. Grab that and slip stitch and we will close up that hole. And now we should have seven slip stitches down the side of the chain and make sure you're not twisting it as you go. So one, sorry, you can't really see around that hand here. Two, three, four, Five, six, seven. Whoops. Seven. And now we're going to do nine single crochets across. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And we're going to do our second arm now. So we're going to chain 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Do our two slip stitches starting in the second chain. One, two, chain two, one and two. Do our two slip stitches. One, two, chain two, one, two, and do our two slip stitches. 
Remember to grab a piece of that first finger so you don't have a hole there. And then we'll have seven slip stitches down the chain. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And now we should have eight single crochets to finish off the row. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Row 7 to 11 is just going to be um, 18 single crochets all the way around. And I'm going to use my row counter for that. So 1. And then we're going to go around the arm and come in behind this first single crochet right there into that hole two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now we got to go around the arm. So we're going behind that single crochet in that hole right there. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, so that was row seven. Another row of 18 single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18 so that was row 8 another row of 18 single crochets 1 2 3 oops 4 5 6 Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, that was row 9, another row of 18 single crochets, 1, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, that was row 10. We have one row left of 18 single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, and that was row. 11. Row 12, we are going to add our legs. We're going to do three single crochets, do our leg. We're going to do seven single crochets across the front, do our leg, and then we should have eight single crochets to finish off the round. So we are going to start with three single crochets. One, two, Three. And then we're going to start our leg, same as the arms, chain 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Slip stitch in the, um, the second chain from the hook. So one, and then two. Chain two, our two slip stitches, one, two, chain two, our two slip stitches. Remember to go and catch the bottom of that first toe. And then we'll have seven slip stitches down the rest of the chain. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now we're going to do eight, seven single crochets across the front. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, um, actually let's do eight, we'll do eight, and then we're going to start our other leg, chain ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, our two slip stitches, one, two, chain two, one, two, do our two slip stitches, one, two, chain two again, one and two, and then our two slip stitches, one on the toe, and one catching that first toe. 
so we don't have a hole there. Whoops. And then seven slip stitches down the side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And now we should have seven single crochets um, on to finish the round since we did added one on the other side of the leg. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh yeah, that's a good thing I went where I went, I think. Okay, we're gonna add the eyes now. And we are gonna put our eyes just kind of right in here and right in here. So our first eye And then our second eye. Let's have a quick look. If you might want to move this one up a bit, I think I'm going to leave it. And then if you're happy with them, put the backs on. Let's give them a little face now as well. So we'll grab a scrap of black if you have one. And we'll thread that on. And we're gonna go about three rows down, two or three rows down from the eyes. So I find the bottom of my eye We'll go one, two. So about right here is where we're gonna go in, just on the inside of the eye. Leave a little bit of string on the outside for tying. And then you wanna match that stitch on the other side. So probably about right here. We gotta put our cheek on too. Okay. It might not quite be even here, but let's just see. Yeah, I think I could be one more stitch over. So, right in there. And then you're going to come down one row below in the center and you're going to come under your mouth, around your mouth, and then back in that same hole and out. And what that will do is bring down your mouth into a little bit of a V make it look like it's smiling. And then you'll just tie that off on the inside. Not too tight because you don't want to pull your mouth. 
can slowly tighten as you go. And then I'm going to trim those ends. And then we'll do the same thing with some little cheeks. So I just have a scrap of red here. Usually I'd use pink, but we'll try red on the pink frog. And you're just going to come up one stitch over from where the mouth is. Leave a little bit for tying. And then you can go to the side or up or down. I'm going to go up. I'm going to go around this row a couple of times. Probably twice. So that's once. And then, yeah, twice. Then I'm going to go over and match that stitch on the other side. So I'm one stitch over from the mouth still. And then I'm going to wrap that around twice. So that's once. And this will be twice. And I'm just going to come out so I can tie that in the back. And this one, again, nice and loose because you don't want to pull your cheeks um, tight. So a little tighter as you go. Whoops, pulled that a tiny bit. I should be able to tighten it good this time. Then you'll trim those ends. Oh yeah, see I pulled that one a little bit. So if you do do that, just get under, underneath of there and just kind of pull those cheek stitches back up. They don't look near as cute in red. All right, we, where are we, 18 stitches? We could probably add a little stuffing right now, too. Because our next rows will be decreased rows. And I'm just lightly going to stuff this. Make sure your um, backs or your eyes aren't getting pushed up. You want them to be nice and straight. I think that's enough stuffing already. Let's take a little out. Depending on how flat or round you want it. And then get your hook back in. Row 13, we are going to do one single crochet, one decrease, repeat that all the way around for a total of 12. So one, and a decrease for two. Then we have to go around the leg. Remember, we're going behind that first single crochet. So that's three. And a decrease for four. Five. And a decrease for six. Seven. And this decrease, we're going to go on one side of the leg and the other. So in that side, pull up. Move your leg around, back behind this um, single crochet. Grab your yarn, pull up, and then go through the three loops. I believe that was stitch eight. Nine. Decrease for ten. Eleven. And a decrease for 12. 
Row 14 is going to be our last row and it's going to be six decreases. So if you need to add some stuffing, um, you can do that now or you can try and get it in there um, when you're down to six. So one decrease, two decreases, three decreases, four decreases, five decreases, and six decreases. And then you're just going to slip stitch into the next stitch. Tie that off. Um, and depending on what you're doing with that, if you're just closing it up, um, you don't need too long of a tail. If you're going to weave it up here and make a little um, loop, you might want to leave a little longer tail. I always leave a longer tail just in case. And mine is going to need a little bit of stuffing, so let's put that in. I think a little bit more. If you do little amounts at a time, it's a good way to keep from overstuffing it. That's very easy to do. That should go in there. There we go. All right, I think that's good. So he's kind of firm, but he's still squishy. And he's kind of flat, just how I want him. So then you are just going to re-thread your yarn onto your needle. Oops. Take this stitch marker out. And you're just going to go in the top loops of the last round, weaving in and out. So you get around to where you started. And then just pull that closed. And give it a little knot somewhere. I always try and do mine in the back if I can. And then you can hide that inside. I put mine up and out the top. Hold the bottom while you pull the knot in. And there, you got your little frog. I think I'm taking these out. I don't like the red. Let's see. Alrighty, now you have your little frog made and I feel like maybe some of you just came here for the frog and you're done with the video and if that's the case, I just want to say thanks for watching. Um, don't forget if you like my videos, hit the subscribe button and the bell. Not only does that help me out, but you will also be notified every time I load a new video. And if you are continuing on with me to do the heart, the clover, and the little flower, I think what I'm going to do is put a screenshot in the next frame with timestamps for each one. And you can just skip around and do whichever one you came here to do. It will only be about five seconds, so be prepared to hit pause if you need to. Okay, for the heart, we are going to start with a 
knot with the loop on the end as if we were going to make a chain and we're going to be putting all our stitches in this loop so if you need to make it a little bigger um do that so mine's going to be about just a, probably about two of my hooks and then make sure you go over your tail so you can close that hole at the end so we are going to begin by grabbing our yarn and chaining two one two and then we are going to do three double crochets so yarn over into your loop grab your yarn pull up and through grab your yarn go through the first two loops grab your yarn and go through the last two loops so that's one do that again another double crochet that's two and one more time another double crochet for three and now we are going to do three half double crochets so yarn over into our loop grab our yarn grab our yarn again and go through all three of the loops so that's one another half double crochet that's two another half double crochet that's three now we're going to chain one we're going to do a double crochet and then we're going to chain one again and now we're going to do the same thing we did here in reverse so we're going to do three half double crochets one two three and now we're going to do three double crochets one two three then we're going to chain two one and two and then we're going to slip stitch down into the loop and tie off give that a good tug if you need to and then leave enough of a tail to sew this on grab your darning needle Oop. I don't know what that was and then you're going to pin your heart on and I put mine on a bit of an angle just my own personal preference and when I pinned it what I did is I tried to I decided where I wanted the top point of my heart to be I don't want it to cover his mouth then I did down in the point because I want that to stay pointy and then I am going to do the other top of the heart Just so it kind of keeps its shape. Thread your yarn onto your needle. And now you are just going to go down and around the stitches underneath the heart. You want to make sure you're not um, on the outside of the heart because you don't want to see these stitches. And then come up a stitch go down the next stitch oops I better that's a chain so we gotta be careful we don't pull that out whoopsie you darn arms go up the next stitch Go down and start thinking about where you want to put your arm or your hand when you sew it on, if you're sewing your hand on. So I'm going to come up and then that's where I'm going to put my first um, hand. 
And all I'm doing is I'm going through the fingers. Make sure you're going in the same direction now I am I? Nope. I purposely meant to go in the same direction and then I didn't. So I want to be coming this way. And then I'm just going to go down in the next stitch and continue sewing. And you can put more of the hand on if you want or less. Kind of looks like he's got one middle finger there. So when I get to the point, that's where I want to make sure I'm keeping that pointed. You can always come around on this one so it stays that way. And then just continue the same way you've been going until you decide if you or where you want to put the second hand. Um, I think I'm going to put mine there. So I got a couple more stitches. So I think his finger's going there. So again, make sure you're going the right direction. This time I'm going to grab a little lower, so he's got a little more of his hand on there. And then when you get to the end, go up or down a couple of times. And then when you go in the last time, you want to try and catch a stitch. I'm going to come down under the heart and then I'm going to catch a stitch from when I first started. Because you want to make sure you're tying this knot underneath your heart so you don't see it. So find. So I'm going to find this a stitch I made when I started. So right there. And that's where I'm going to tie my knot. Because you don't want to see that. And then pull it down underneath in the same stitch and out the back somewhere. Trim that off. And we got our little heart on. All right, now we'll do the little clover and we are gonna begin with a knot with the loop on the end as if we were going to chain and we're gonna be putting all our stitches in this loop. So don't make it too small and make sure you go over your tail so you can close up that hole at the end. So you're going to grab your yarn, pull up and then chain two. One, two. And then you're going to do two double crochets. So yarn over into your loop, grab your yarn, grab your yarn again and pull through the first two loops. Grab your yarn and go through the second two loops. So that's one, yarn over in the loop, pull up, go through the first two loops, go through the second two loops. Now you're going to chain two, one, two, and then you're going to slip stitch down into the loop. So that's one um, leaf and we're going to do that 
um, a total of three times, so two more times. We're going to chain two, one, two, two double crochets, one, two, chain two, one, two, and then slip stitch into your loop. And we're going to do that one more time. Chain two, two double crochets, one, two, chain two, and then slip stitch down in the loop. And now for the stem, we're going to do a chain of two or three. I'm going to do two. So I did two and then I'm grabbing it to tie off and I'm going to pull that fairly tight so it's not too long. Then leave a tail um, long enough to sew that on. Grab your darning needle. Oh no, sorry, we got to pin that first. So I just got lots of frogs done in different colors. So I'm just grabbing one. And I'm just going to kind of place my shamrock wherever I feel I want it. And then I'm going to pin the top of each. Oops, poked myself. Each um, leaf. And then I'm going to be starting at the bottom stem. So just like that, now we can thread our needle. And to begin, we are just going to go around one of the rows right close and then up through the stem. Kind of pull that knot around at the end of the stem if you can. Go in the next stitch up and then we're going to start coming around. Stay underneath um, your clover or shamrock. I'm not sure which is which. One's four, one's three. Um, but you don't want to see your stitches. And if you stay underneath, they will be hidden. You gotta kind of think about where you want your first arm to go. Am I under a stitch there? Nope. Or if you even want to um, sew your arms on, they can hang. I did one on some of them. I did both on some of them. I think I'm gonna put my one there. So I'm just going to go under a stitch on the first finger and make sure, sure you're going the same direction. I should have cut that on string. So mine are just kind of tacked on. I'm not sewing down the hand, but if you feel like doing that, you can do that yourself. Um, at another time, once you're done watching. Oh, see, I don't want to go there because I don't want that stitch to show. So. There we go. I'm going to come up here. You don't necessarily have to go in every stitch, but you need to go in enough stitches that it holds its shape. Whoops, I just flung a pin somewhere. So see, I'm making sure I'm staying underneath. This time I was able to go right through. Now again, start thinking about where your other hand is going, if it's going. Oh, 
probably in my next stitch or two, I'm going to be putting it on. Some reason. Let's see. Yeah. So make sure you're going the same direction. So this time I got to go down through his finger. This time I'm going to go down and I'm going to try and find a stitch that I can tie to that I made when I first started. So somewhere underneath we want to find a stitch. I might have to go back to the one I just did. Oh, there's one. All right. So I'm just grabbing a previous stitch and that's where I'm going to tie my knot so it stays underneath and you can't see it. And then we'll pull that down and out. Trim that off. Then we got our one with the little clover. All right, we're going to start with the flower now. And we're going to have to make a knot with a loop on the end as if you're going to chain. And we're going to be putting 10 single crochets in there so you may want to make it a little bigger than you're used to and make sure you go over top of your tail as you're going around you're going to grab your yarn pull up and chain one and that does not count as a stitch that just attaches your yarn to your loop and we are going to do 10 single crochets into the loop one Two, whoops, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. nine and on your tenth one just grab your yarn and come up and leave both those loops on your hook because we're going to change color so i'm pulling my my end grab your new color and you're going to tie that on to your old color nice and tight as close as the, to the hook as you can two or three times let's cut our old color now and we'll cut our yellow and I'm gonna cut if you've already pulled it you can cut your other tail just so they're out of your way. Now we're going to take that new color, pull it through, finish off that last stitch. Now we are going to slip stitch into the next stitch. 
and we're going to chain three. One, two, three, and we're going to slip stitch in the next stitch. And we're just going to repeat that all the way around. Chain three, one, two, three, and slip stitch in the next stitch. Chain three, one, two, oops, sorry, I'm not in camera there. Three, and slip stitch. Chain three, one, two, three, and then slip stitch. One, two, three, and 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 slip stitch. And then when I got here, I couldn't figure out if I needed another petal or not. Basically, I'm at the end, but I did one more. One, two, three, and then slip stitched in my first stitch. Whoops. And then you'll just tie off, leaving yourself enough of a tail to go around and sew that on. All right, and grab a frog, grab a darning needle. And then I'm going to position my flower where I want the hand to be so it kind of covers up where I um, wasn't sure how to end the stitch here. So I'm going to come down and around and I'm going to be going through the yellow, not the brown, because we don't want to see our yellow stitches. Oops. I'm going to come up. I need to go through the hand. Make sure you're going on the right side so your um, thread is coming up and around this way. Whoops. Can never avoid those darn legs. So see how it slides on there like that. Then I'm just going to go around. Up and down through the yellow part. Oh, I forgot. Oh, this is an old frog. See, it has a hole in there. And I'm not um, going in every stitch on this one. I'm just going around tacking this on. And I think I want to put my next arm down here. Or you could leave it off. I've been leaving it off on the flowers sometimes. But I'm going to put this one on just so you can see me do it and go through his finger. Shoot, I haven't been watching the camera. See if I'm in view here. So just back and forth till I get to the other side where I started. I'll probably go down here and now I want to come up and around and then I'm going to have to find a stitch to tie this off to. So right here, I'm just going to grab that stitch, go around that and that's where I'll tie my knot. And then we 
you'll just thread that down and out somewhere. And we'll cut that off. And then we got our little frog with the flower. All right, if you're still with me, I just want to say thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed my video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and click that bell. Also, any likes, shares, or comments are truly appreciated. And as always, take care, be safe, and happy crocheting.